All right, happy Thursday, March 11th. Uh, so finally, we had a closing of the uh, gap at $54.14 on the XLE, uh, going back to uh, the date of February 21st of last year. Wow, long time it took to get there. But, um, you know, we basically came up, we, we were on our way headed down towards the 2357 it's going to go back to it's going to go back to this number here 2357 it'll get to that that was set on March 23rd but uh, the funny thing about the XLE is that it closes gaps below and above as well and if we go back further we got a couple of pretty hefty gaps we got a gap over here at 67, uh, 6709 that we have not closed. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, that's right. We haven't bit, we haven't closed that. Uh, so that will get closed. Um, but uh, so you know, we're basically back to ice. Shout out to Tom, Mr. Tom O'Brien of TFNN.com, his his son Tommy, and all the Tigers and Tigresses, of course, uh, whose trading system I use. And uh, so we back to ICE, which is basically this level uh, before uh, the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, and, now, and now we can uh, basically look for action. I am expecting this to, if it goes down to the 2357, as you can see, there's a lot of gaps that it made on the way up to this level. In the recent few days, uh, as far back as f uh, early February, uh, and it'll close those. Um, and usually, when it when it goes down, when it actually crashes, it crashes fast. So I can see that happening pretty quickly. Another thing that happened is that we have overbought status on the relative strength index on the daily chart. We also have overbought on the weekly chart. Uh, so, and we hit the 200 moving average, the 200 moving average was 54.29 and, uh, we hit $54 and 36 and a half cents today. So that would be a uh, great resistance, uh, for this to head back down to the 23.57. That's what I'm banking on. Uh, let's go to my positions just so you can see. Well, let's check out my order so you can see. I've been quietly um, moving money out of ERX and putting it into ERY. And every chance I got a little extra money to put in, I bought a couple of ERX, but that's for a quick pop. And then basically, uh, I'm heavy in ERY now. Small position, nothing outrageous. But uh, this can quickly turn into a, a, a five-figure income. So uh, enjoy the journey with me. I'll show you as I go along. Um, yeah. Happy trading.